And again, here we have more liberal insanity one more time. North Carolina State University has defended the lecturer's right to enforce this policy. Well, they're talking about, I guess, dock students' grades for using the sexist word mankind and other so-called sexist words. Get the kids out of the room. I'm likely to swear on this one. Uh... The people who run this college must be removed. They must lose all teaching credentials permanently. They are obviously mentally ill. Talk about mentally ill people with guns. Well, they do physical harm. I'll tell you what. These so-called educators who are nuts, nuts, nuts are doing far more harm. They are doing infinitely more harm to uh, students in the po and society than any wacko in the, with a gun can. Thanks to evolution, generalized pronouns and other biased preferences are no longer acceptable in any class. Stated syllabus for Nancy Bishop's online women in poverty class. According to the screenshot of the document obtained by the college fix, you may not use him or he or man or refer to both men and women to refer to both men and women. He continued adding that mankind must be replaced with humans or humankind and that he or she must be used instead of just he. Grades will be docked for sexist language and assignments. As Fix points out, Bishop did not advise students on how to handle pronouns when it comes to people who didn't identify with either gender in traditional male-female binary, nor did it clarify whether or not the word she is always had the first in the phase he or she. These people are insane. Once more time. They are goddamn nuts, and they need to be locked up. That entire school administration should be removed and locked up in mental hospitals. I don't care. You know, the dean or whatever, whoever's responsible for this. They should be removed, immediately lose all credentials, and be locked up in a mental hospital for the criminally insane. I'm getting tired of this. Nancy, Nancy Bishop should be should immediately lose all tr uh, teaching credentials and be locked up in a mental hospital. I can't believe this is happening in this country. This is beyond anything I've ever seen. It's not as crazy as all this sounds. It's not an isolated incident. In fact, Washington State University's professor, Selena Lester Brights, actually attempted to do something similar, which means she should be put into a nut house as well. The syllabus for her fall 2015 Women in Culture course warned students that using words male and female to describe men and women was forbidden could result in punishment. Unlike North Carolina State, however, WSU stepped in and said that this kind of restriction on free speech was not allowed. Yeah, well, thank God for small favors, and some people have an actual intellect, unlike this woman in San Francisco and these people and the people in uh, England who are doing a similar thing. That'll be it for the updates for today. I can't believe this is happening, not in this country.
These people are not Americans. I stand by that. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.